it is a must for every staff member or employees of the Bupala Resource and Red Cross Society to be able to provide first aid services. This includes the management and board of directors as well. The Red Cross Society trained its senior management staff on how to provide first aid services mainly because disasters have already started occurring due to storms where people might be injured and also because of the busy festive season approaching. Tulanis Melani, the first aid coordinator at Red Cross, says each and every staff member of the Red Cross Society must be able to provide first aid services regardless of their position. We are here training the board of Bapala Liswazland Red Cross. Uh, as you will know that uh, Red Cross is the leading first aid providers, are the leading first aid providers and uh, trainers. We have to be exemplary. So that is why our board, actually every year we do train our board, we do train our members so that we are always uh, up to date in terms of offering first aid to the public. Accidents and, 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 and crises happen all the time. So there is always a, a, a need for people who are skilled in, in first aid. So our training the board is, is, is what we normally do each and every year. We do train our board, we do train our staff, we do train our members. And we do invite the, the public as well to do come to Red Cross and receive first aid training. We invite companies. Last week we were, we, we were, uh, we were celebrating our World First Aid Day with the same uh, high school. There, what we were, we were encouraging, we are encouraging that even the schools, the, the pupils, the students, even the teachers should be skilled in terms of offering first aid because accidents happen even at school. Actually, accidents happen everywhere. Similarly says they have such trainings annually and it is not a once-off thing. Kian MCB, Humphrey Lamini, Swazitiv News, Matapa.